What I try to portray the most in my art is for sure expressionalism, what I'm feeling maybe on a random daily basis, or I like to portray love in art, about lovers, uh, heartbreak, loving yourself. Before I would disregard my art, throw it away, or I didn't think it was good enough. And now that I've surrounded myself with a community that has such amazing people, I've come to know my value and appreciate my art more now. In college, I pursued, um, well, I changed my major a couple times, and I still finished. And so after that, I decided that I also wanted to take a break on school because I felt like I had consumed myself so much over the years and growing up in a family where grades were, you know, you gotta be on top of your, your school stuff, you gotta have good habits and such. So I decided to take a break from all of that and focus on myself as a person, my interest. Started out with me reaching out to a lot of people first. Um, I was interested in being in the events. I wanted to be there, painting with everybody, learning the things that they knew, spray paint, acrylic. They were selling their art. I was interested in that too. Um, I wanted people to see my stuff, see what I was creating. As time passed, I guess whenever like little mural gigs start happening or mini uh, mural festivals, sometimes they'll have slots open or somebody knows somebody and they'll reach out to me. And I guess over the past year, I've had more people reach out to me than I've had to, which is a great feeling because it feels like um, I'm being recognized for the work that I'm putting in. It inspires me to do more art. It kind of include everyone too into it, like share my interests with everybody. Just having large scale artwork is, blows my mind. It's just an amazing thing to have. Like, it's not tiny, it's large scale. And just the skill that goes into spraying it or laying down paint, it takes a certain person to be able to do that. I grew up um, kind of in the Cesar Chavez area, kind of by uh, Second Street. And I thought it was a pretty nice area because I got to walk everywhere with my mom a lot uh, growing up. We would walk to the library a lot. Uh, we would walk to HEB. Believe it or not, I would carry all my groceries on the city bus. Uh, I would walk down the blocks with my mom. So the area is pretty familiar to me, all the houses, seeing everything change. We walked all over the place, so it was pretty nice. I loved living on East Side. I did join several art groups or art programs after school that the school provided um, with Girls Club. Um, I was interested in cake decorating uh, during the summer, and then I did um, it was like an arts and crafts club, so we just explored all sorts of mediums. It was glass, uh, sewing, clay, and all that stuff. So that really uh, captured my interest, and that was, I guess, the beginning of me doing more hands-on stuff. Well, during high school, um, I feel like my electives were all over the place, just because I have, an in even after school, I have an interest in so many things. And so in school, I was like, why can't, why not try all of them? During uh, high school, um, I also lost my brother, so uh, that was one of the main things that drove me to find meditation um, and other things aside from being in my head all the time. And so uh, turning to art uh, gave me, like, I guess an escape for my emotions or having to talk to somebody it wasn't always something that I wanted to do. Um, even with the gr uh, grieving sessions that my counselors uh, suggested, um, that was not something that I wanted to do. Um, I like putting my ha hands on stuff, uh, making things work. Um, just like being in my own little world. So I figured I could give art a try. Um, okay. So um, during high school, so as I said, uh, you know, I tried to find something that um, could help me distract myself from the things that I was dealing with my family, um, losing my brother and such. Um, but just not, it was not simply just seeing, uh, feeling the pain of that, uh, that drove me to seek art, the like, comfort in art. It was also seeing, um, how it affected my mother, um, uh, my dad, 
put into the situation where um, I had to deliver the news to my family. Um, it kind of pushed me to be stronger. And I've learned to um, find, you know, like beauty and pain or try to um, comfort myself in situations. And I feel like I've uh, learned this uh, skill through art a lot. Um, <clears throat> for sure, an appreciation for life. Um, and so I try to portray that in my art for sure. And um, I feel like it's all starting to fall into place, uh, seeing what I like to do, um, expressing myself through my art. Um, for sure, it took a, um, it, 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 for sure, it um, uh, came to light what I wanted to do more um, as I meditated more so, myself, with myself more into uh, the art and what I wanted to do. I for sure would like others to find comfort in art, um, as I have. Um, perhaps somebody doesn't know that they need art. It doesn't have to be art. It could be music. It could be a uh, poem, talking, talking poems or reading them, whatever. It could be growing plants, uh, crocheting, um, just finding something that you can comfort yourself in is pretty important. The community is accepting of artists, uh, whatever medium you're using, whatever you want to express. Uh, it's comforting to know that there's people out there who are interested in your art, interested in simply knowing who, are, who you are as a person or an artist, uh, your place in Austin, uh, or your own story. Um, anybody who even just listens is something compared to nothing, you know? And so that's something that I appreciate for sure.